So one more time from the beginning, everybody. Welcome. This is FX Passion broadcasting you live on TradingView. This is crypto por portfolio for beginners, everybody. No, no fancy stuff in here. Okay. So and we start talking about the market and we were joking. What was what day was yesterday? What day was yesterday? Was yesterday a good day or was yesterday a bad day? What would you say? What was a good was a good day yesterday or, or was a bad day yesterday? What what was yesterday? It was a good day for the crypto market or was a bad day for the crypto market? And we are joking between investors, right? And we are saying that it's a joke, right? And we are saying that yesterday it was Black Wednesday, right? Not Black Friday, but it was Black Wednesday, right? Black Wednesday. Why? Look what I mean. It was it was extremely bad for some traders, even though I was telling them don't trade the crypto market, right? Some of them went angry with me, but yesterday they were calling me and crying, oh, FX Passion, help me, help me. How can I help you? You are not listening, you know. Anyway, let's start the session, everybody. So crypto portfolio for beginners. Now, here is the question that we address every session. Would you be happy if you would invest a thousand dollars, a thousand euros, thousand Brazilian reais, or a thousand yen and have a hundred thousand in three to five years. Would this make you happy, everybody? So this is the question, and in in questioning and in asking ourselves this question, what we are what we are doing here, we are talking about investing, not trading, still for beginners. Okay, talking about investing, not trading. And we are trying to identify which crypto is going to double next compared to another crypto. Okay, those two are the main questions. And remember the webinar, the webinars are not investment or trading advice. Okay, the webinars are for educational purposes only. Don't invest or trade money that you cannot afford to lose. Crypto assets carry a high degree of risk and are not suitable for all investors and traders. Always do your own homework before you act. Okay? Now, one thing more especially, I'm not a professional in cryptos. Okay? F expression, what is blockchain? I have no idea. What is a smart contract? I have no clue. But I am a technical trader and I am a portfolio manager. And I'm managing right now three different portfolios, just crypto, crypto portfolios. And in my opinion, the crypto market is going to produce millionaire investors, not traders. My opinion, right? The crypto market is going to produce millionaire investors. We are talking about this one. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah. Right. You know, you cannot, you cannot, maybe you can, but. You know what it's expected in three to five years if you would manage your portfolio correctly is this right so if you if you have ten thousand I believe it's possible to go to a million hundred thousand easily hundred thousand e but who has hundred thousand right who has hundred thousand like this just to throw especially when you talk about risk capital and crypto assets carry a high degree of fundamental risk, everybody. Okay. Anyway, I believe, it's my belief that the crypto market is going to produce millionaire investors in the next three to five years. And every week, every first week, so in 14 days, we are going to show you the results of the three portfolios. One, it's aggressive. One, it's moderate. And the, and the last one, it's conservative. Okay, and we are having the lazy portfolio course every three months. Take a pen and paper and write down 18 of June. Okay, 20 people max. Why? Because we need to answer all the questions. 18 of June. Okay, I cannot say much than this because trading view house rules apply. But if you have questions or you want more information, connect. 
okay you can contact me in the private chat or you have my gmail below the stream that being said that means that who knows everybody why at least in my opinion why this happened yesterday i showed to some of you i showed you already in the new york session okay why this happened yesterday and it's a paradigm shift everybody for the professional investor this was like st it still is an opportunity to get in the market very 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 cheap right and what happened from yesterday to today is that ethereum it's up and we can go to we can go to we go to coin market cap to see the numbers okay coin market cap to see the numbers and the last 24 hours Monero it's up 31 percent nano 27 internet 27 falcon 26 telecom 26 waste 24. yesterday everybody it was <laughs> it was black wednesday but look what happened from yesterday to today in 24 hours right and what we must learn as investors everybody and now it's not a joke some people were calling me yesterday and they were crying no i'm not joking they were crying for real they were crying they got scared which is normal they got scared when this was worth and this is the weekly chart yesterday they were looking at this some of them were on the 15 minute chart you know and they were calling me and they were like crying for real you know no i'm not judging anybody come on everybody you know i've been there too back in time i'm going to tell you it's normal right you know if you are not a professional investor when something like this happens oh bitcoin is going to go up oh bitcoin is going to go up and bitcoin falls we get scared and they were crying oh i'm losing millions and i said i know <laughs> you know i said i know and he said why are you laughing at me i'm, I, I'm desperate and i said because i've been telling you not to trade cryptos didn't i tell you everybody i know some of you i've been telling you don't trade cryptos you are not a professional right maybe i'm wrong but this is my 50 cents about cryptos i've been telling you don't rate invest in the long term and they were, they were calling me also some friends who are not professional investors and they got scared too and they're like sobbing oh my god what should i do and i've been telling them i told them yesterday stay in the market oh how can i how can i relax i'm losing 30 percent i'm losing 40 percent you know i'm losing 80 percent how can i and i said don't panic you know there is panic right now just stay in the market but yesterday everybody we didn't have time to talk about what and i know some of you right yesterday because there was panic in the street and before we move forward i believe that this caused this maybe i'm wrong I believe that this and this was look at the look at the date may 19 6 42 a.m you know europe was sleeping brazil was sleeping usa was sleeping you know and this bam this was the news and what is saying china bans financial payment institution from cryptocurrency business in general so china it's not allowing china is not allowing anymore to do anything with cryptos so under the ban such institution meaning brokerage houses investment banks uh exchanges too you know there is no more kraken in in china or whatever coinbase or whatever the the, the exchange is so such any financial institution including banks and online payment channels must not offer clients any service involving cryptocurrencies such as registration trading 
you cannot trade cryptos in China anymore, clearing and settlement, you know, you cannot do anything in China. It's illegal. And it's my firm belief, maybe I'm wrong, it's my firm belief that this news caused this. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but we, the investors, we knew when something like this happens, the big whales are going to jump in and are, and, and are jumping in right now. Are you familiar, everybody, with the big whales? Who are the big whales? You know, when Bitcoin went from 64 to 30, you could bet that somebody is going to buy big time. It's happened all the time, you know. In this aspect, everybody, crypto market, in my opinion, and I'm not a professional cryptos, in this aspect, the crypto market, it's similar. And talking, we're talking about investments and portfolio management. In this sense, in my opinion, crypto market is similar to the stock market. You have great stocks all around the world. You know, what would be a great stock? I don't know, Coca-Cola maybe or Apple, right? And imagine this happens to a stock because of some news, not relevant to the industry, by the way. You know, you can bet some big whales are going to jump in and invest long term. Okay, now what we're going to teach you in the course is that this is what happened yesterday, happened already here in 2008, and is going to happen in the future. Okay, so you can prepare yourself because, and yesterday the, we have one portfolio, one portfolio, here talking about portfolio management, everybody, one portfolio is one time investment. And the other portfolio have the one-time investment plus monthly investments. So the portfolio who is going to have monthly payments, you know, this is for us, right? So maybe I have a job or a business or whatever, you know, and every month, you know, I, I have a hundred dollars for, I mean, you know, I have my salary, you know, I'm an employee, I have my salary, and after I pay my bills, I'm still with a hundred, two hundred dollars, euros, reais, whatever, so I can invest this money. And yesterday, we, 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 we bought, with this kind of portfolio, we are going to manage this one, we bought everything yesterday. I mean, the same cryptos that we bought from the beginning, we bought yesterday too. Okay, and if this is for if this is your first time, everybody with us, this project, you are going to see this project running for the next three to five years. Okay, we are going to check every month the portfolios, and we are going to see if what I think is going to happen is going to happen, or maybe I'm wrong. Make sense, everybody? Remember, there is always risk. Okay, but if the crypto market is going to flourish, and in my opinion, it is going to flourish because it's about technology. It's not about value, it's about technology. In my opinion, this is going to happen. And if this is going to happen, you are going to, what? You are going to say, oh my gosh, why didn't I act three years ago when fashion was telling me this, you know? Or in five years, oh my God, I should buy whatever, whatever, you know, I should buy, I should invest in Ethereum five years ago, I should invest in Cardano. For the ones who are crying, <laughs> everybody, true story, right? And I'm not arrogant, I'm not arrogant, I'm going to tell you what happens when people who are not professionals are not listening. Yesterday, some of my friends, not professionals, you know, they were crying. They were crying for real. And they were calling me, help me, help me, help me. And I told them, stay in the market. And 90% of them didn't listen and they, <laughs> and they sold. Whatever Bitcoin, whatever Cardano, whatever Ethereum, they sold, you know. I don't know the exact 
amount. I don't know the exact value, but this sold around here, you know, this sold around here. Come on, trading view. They sold around here, or they sold around here, or they sold around here. So they were crying yesterday. And the same people were crying today too. You know, yesterday they were true story, everybody. And even though I'm laughing and joking, it's normal because this was me 20 years ago with stocks. I did exactly the same, same mistakes. I got emotional. I didn't have knowledge. I didn't have experience either. You know, my mentor was telling me stay in the market and I did the same mistakes. Today it's funny, right? Because, but it's not funny at all. Because when we get scared, but just to finish the story, right? And if this is you, you know, lick your wounds and grow up. Learn from your experience, everybody. If this is you, this happened yesterday. They were crying, they were losing, and today they were crying again. Oh my God, I should have stayed in the market. You know, I shouldn't have sell. I shouldn't have sold. Of course not. The Bitcoin guys, right? The Bitcoin guys yesterday bought at 60, 65, 55, whatever. Yesterday sold at 31, 32, 30, and today they were crying. Why? Because the opportunity, it's not the same anymore. It's still an opportunity. Talking about the question, what is the question? Which one is going to double next compared to the other one? So we're talking about time, you know, and maybe Bitcoin didn't went up that much, but Ethereum did, right? From, from 1,800 to 2,800. If you bought Ethereum at 1,900, whatever, you know, then it's going to double easily. Not to talk about Litecoin, right? Look at Litecoin, everybody. If you would buy, so Litecoin went down to 150, right? And if you bought Litecoin at 200, whatever, to double Litecoin must go to 400. Is this doable, everybody? Is this doable? You know, and this is why we are talking about long term investments and prepare yourself for the right. Okay, now what we need to understand is that the what happened here, everybody, it's normal and it happened already here in 2018. Most of us have friends, Bitcoin was like this back in time. Most of us have friends who were moved by the hype and they were buying investing in bitcoin with 15,000 16,000 17 some of them 18 19,000 and we have some friends who made who who made or built you know who own who earned to buy a house or to own a car you know but we also have friends who lost a house and a car you know, people are doing stupid things when they get greedy, right? And this was me back in time. I'm telling you, I was the same. You know, I did the stupid thing. I didn't listen. How could I? I didn't have any experience. So this, this rally to 18,000 and this panic, you know, and we were telling back in time people the same, stay in the market, stay in the market. How can I stay in the market? I'm losing money. And here was the question, do you believe in the idea of the crypto market, whatever, it, whatever the idea might be? Do you believe in the technology? Do you believe in the, in the cryptocurrencies? Do you believe in decentralized financials, whatever the, pardon my English, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Do you believe in the crypto market? And somebody would say, yes, I believe, well, stay in the market. And of course, the same what happened yesterday happened back in 2018. 90% of our friends, you know, it was too difficult. You know, it was too difficult. We get, we got too scared, right? I mean, from 18,000, 70,000, 15,000 to eight, it's one story. 
but when it fell to 3000 and this was here this was here you know the 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 people who are not professionals investors the common joe and common joan you know you know they got scared and hit the, here they said well i have enough of this and they sold right they sold and they said well i don't want to hear about cryptos anymore for me, the crypto story is over. If you would just wait and wait and be patient, you know, and 95% of not professional investor traders were not, what would happen in what? 2018, 2020, 21, not even five years. In three years time, this happened. And here again, right? The common Joe and the common Joan would, would sold here. They bought at 15, 17, sold in here. And they would hear, they would hear about Lucas or Jean Paul, right? Or, or, or Stoyan, whatever the name, you know? Champion, whatever the name, wherever in the world. They would hear, oh, you know, Bitcoin is up 30%. And they would say, really? Oh my gosh, I should have not sold, you know. Okay, you know, greed. Let's buy again. Right? And as soon as they have bought, what happened? I know some of you and I know some of them. People bought at 11 and then dropped again to 4,000. And they said, oh my God, I mean, this is too much. And I'm out of the cryptos for real. One year later, the same people, and I know some of them, this, this one, everybody. Can you relate to this? Do you have some friends that this, this, uh, experienced this, or maybe this was you, right? So I have a really, I have a good news and a bad news. Which one do you want first, everybody? And one more time, oh, passion, you are arrogant. I'm not arrogant. I, I was the same back in time, okay? I feel the guys, okay? I was feeling them yesterday. They were crying for real. You know, yes, I'm sorry, you know? I'm sorry that this is happening to you. You know, I'm re I really am. But this is good news. How can this be good news? I lost 80%. You lost because you sold. Straight your head up, everybody. If you have friends, family members, your uncle, cousin, father, brother, mother, tell them up. Show them the charts and tell them strengthen up. If you would not sold, what would happen? Or if you would buy, double down. You bought at 55 and you bought at 30. How is your account right now? Are you in profit? Are you in a break even or are you in a loss? You can, you can check most of the crypto assets, everybody. You are going to see a similar story. Dogecoin, right? You could buy it at 0 0.2. You would make 100% in 24 hours. Here, Dogecoin, 100%. Professional investors. Okay, okay. a little bit, it's, it's a timing, it's a bit of luck, but if you would bought it, Oh, this is almost a go. I'm sorry. You know, Dogecoin here. Right? If you would not buy maybe exactly at 0 0.2, but you would buy at 0 0.24, 27, whatever, right now, almost, if you would buy at 0 0.2 exactly, you would make a 100% profit in 24 hours. Right? So yesterday, and it's still going up, it's all good news. And what it takes, so this is, what is the good news and the bad news? If you are not growing, everybody, when this happens, and I was betting, I was expecting, I said, oh my gosh, I hope, I hope Bitcoin should go down to here. You know, and it didn't, I bought a 33 Bitcoin yesterday. I'm not talking about trading. Oh, you are a trade, not in bit, not in crypto assets. I'm talking about investments. 
right? I bought a 33, okay? Now, what is, what is, the, what is the bad news? These things are going to happen more in the future. We cannot predict where and when and how. We cannot predict this, but these things are going to happen in the next three to four, three to five years. So if you did, if you made any mistakes, okay, don't judge yourself. Just learn from your experience, everybody. But remember, there is always risk, right? But try to learn from your experience. And when this happens next time, just and this is not a, it's not a suggestion. Remember, these webinars are not trading or investment advice. Just double down, you know? And it's scary. Oh, passion, this is scary. I know, I know. But you need, you need to have experience. And this is what we're going to teach you in the course, everybody. How to do this if it happens, what to do if it doesn't happen, okay? So this is the bad news. What is the bad news? If you don't grow, right, I don't care you are an investor or you are a trader. If you don't grow, you know, it's going to be difficult. I mean, this is common sense, right? If you don't grow, if you don't learn how to handle this kind of stuff, you know, then it's going to be difficult for you to make anything, right? And most of the guys on trading you don't like me why they don't like me because i am one of the few who are telling the people not to trade cryptos i'm telling everybody to invest in cryptos and still today you know they are not listening well when the next time happens and it's going to happen don't call me but you are going to hear you know oh passion was telling me not to trade you know and why are you against oh but you are not a professional yes i'm not i'm not a professional on cryptos everybody but i have some institutional traders you know who work in institutions like investment banks they have the millions and the billions and they are telling me that they occasionally are making some profits trading but they are not making consistent profits trading cryptos. So if an investment bank with 50 billion or trillion capital, 200 analysts and 50 traders cannot make consistent profits on cryptos, you know, who are we? This is how I think, you know, maybe I'm wrong, right? Oh, fashion, you're talking a lot of BS. I, I, I accept, you know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but so far, you know, and yesterday was the proof, you know? I have friends who made some money occasionally, okay? But I also have the friends who lost. And I have friends, it's the same friend, who made some money occasionally and then lost the same money occasionally. So being a crypto trader and making a living from the crypto market, those are two different things. Okay, this is my 50 cents. You can agree, you can also disagree, and not a problem. Okay, I'm here with my group who wants to hear how to build a portfolio and not trade, okay, that is going to produce this kind of returns in the next three to five years. Okay, I'm looking for people who are investors who want to have this kind of results. And I'm looking for people who have whatever the you don't need to be rich, you know, you can have a thousand, you can, you can put a hundred every month, whatever. And I'm going to show you every month the results of the portfolios. Okay. This is my 50 cents from, from the crypto market, not being a professional cryptos. Okay. So if you have some friends that are not professional and they want to make long term as an investment and remember these webinars are not trading or investment advice we're talking about education you know you can tell them we have free lessons here fx passionate talking about what he thinks is going to happen okay now we have here eight 
cryptos here we have another eight here we have the next we have gold two moving up right now look at ontology everybody 24 hours it was 0 0.6 now it's 1.6 more than a hundred percent it's still an opportunity everybody bitcoin cash opportunity chili it's opportunity ethereum classic opportunity everything that was dash you know so between all of these right which one would be would be everything it's opportunity right now and in my opinion maybe i'm wrong you know in my opinion in one month or two everything is going to be green if not tomorrow right if not tomorrow but as you can see what the market is doing right now and I'm telling you why this is happening. The whales, who are the whales? The big investment funds, investment banks, you know, and they are buying and investing in cryptos long term. Make sense, everybody? So next week we are going to talk. Today was more about the story, why this happened, you know. Today's more about how not to panic next time and today it's about the paradigm shift that when this happens with the asset it's a good thing it's not a bad thing you know look at waves in 24 hours if you would invest at 14 or 15 whatever you would make 50 60 70 you would be up from 40 to 70 percent in 24 hours right and somebody is asking, somebody is asking, oh, but I am scared. Invest. So, everybody, can you do? Yes, uh, uh, yes, yes, Jesus, just give me a second. Everybody, you must understand two things. You know, passion, but I'm scared. You must understand two things. Number one, we are investing for the next three to five years. And most importantly, you need to invest risk capital okay what is risk capital risk capital is the capital if everything goes bust like down to zero 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 one you know and there is the risk still today that your lifestyle is not going to change make sense everybody your lifestyle is not going to change this is risk capital don't do stupid things as i did and most of your friends, if not you, did. Okay, don't do stupid things. This is a new market. We don't have a lot of data, but we have some basic concepts and so far it obeys and it moves according to the concepts. Jesus, Ripple, yes, it's a buy. Let me find Ripple, where is Ripple, Ripple, Ripple? Here right ripple is here still a buy right and so ripple fell to 0 0.91 it's 1.7 you know it's it's not that much like the others you know it would it must go to 1.8 so ripple is still a buy right and everybody talking about investments not trading you know if you buy ripple 9 we for for if you invest for, I mean, the price is 1.17, you know, to double it must go through up in here, right? And prepare to be in the market long term, you know. Does it look like it will go up from Tom or should I wait? Great question. It, it depends on your investment time you know, time horizon, okay? If you are investing everybody for the long run, as I'm telling my investor to do, it's three to five years. Why don't you use Bollinger Bands? Because I'm not a trader, Dexter, okay? I don't use any indicators, you know? Okay, I'm not a trader on cryptos. I'm not trading. I'm telling everybody not to trade cryptos. Okay. 
But I'm not using Bollinger Bands in general, also in the Forex market, because I don't need them, they don't work for me. Make sense? There is no right or wrong about indicators. We have all different styles, we are using different indicators. Okay? And everybody, one more thing, talking about investing, you know, what we're going to teach you, you know, it's it's not wise, in my opinion, to invest in just one crypto. You know, are you in a Discord? No, sir. I'm not. Okay. It would be wise, and this is my opinion, it would be wise to spread the risk between multiple crypto assets. Why is that? Because we don't know, you know, crypto assets are managed from people, companies, and we don't know when some company or some manager or some CEO is going to do something stupid, sometimes intentionally, sometimes not intentionally, you know. And the story goes with Ripple, right? Ripple was fined by the SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission, okay? And we, we didn't know how long it's going to take you know, for the case to be solved. Make sense? How can we communicate with you for more questions? Well, it's we are, we are having this kind of sessions every Thursday, okay? We have the New York session every Thursday and then we have the Asian session, which is right now. And 18 of June, June 18, we are going to have the, the course. And remember, it's for beginners, okay? It's how to build your portfolio in a lazy way. What means lazy way? Lazy, it's not lazy by procrastination. Lazy means that you don't need to be a professional, you know? We're not going to talk about uh, smart contracts and blockchain. We are going to talk about how to build a portfolio with cryptos. And this is why we are showing you this is why we are showing you every first week of the month the results of the three portfolios. Make sense, everybody? Okay, our time is up. Thank you very much for your time. I'm not going to tell you stay strong and trade with passion. I'm going to tell you stay strong and invest with passion. You know? Okay, next session is going to be, we have, we're having these sessions once per week, you know, twice per week is too much, there is no much, there is not that much uh, movement, okay, so once per week, Thursday, Thursday morning, Thursday night, we have the New York session and uh, at night the Asian session, and we are going to, next week we are going to analyze the different crypto assets, and we are going to talk about which one is going to double next first okay everybody until next thursday stay strong and invest with passion this is fx passion signing off